Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another Socialites Quilt Along created by Fat Quarter Shop. In today's video, we are doing Block 23, Steadfast Block, designed by Sherry McConnell. It's a wonderful beginner-friendly block, and it's really easy, straight cuts, and you should have no problems. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to know, please don't hesitate to comment in the comment box down below. The first thing I'm going to tell you is there are three different sizes. There's a three inch, a six inch, and a nine inch. I'm just doing the middle one. Six inch blocks. For your background color, you're going to need four one and a half by two and a half inch rectangles, eight one and a half inch squares. For your printed fabrics, you are going to need just one two and a half inch square, and that's C. D is you are going to need four one and a half by two and a half inch rectangles and E you're gonna need eight one and a half inch squares. The first unit you're gonna do is this one here the four patch and you're gonna need four of these. So you're going to take E and B which I have right here and you're gonna need two of each two E and two B so I have two two and then you are going to there and so you're just going to alternate just like this and you're going to take your one fabric and place it right sides together like that and your other one right sides together and you're going to sew quarter inch seam down these sides and you should get two units that look like this. Once you've done this with all of your fabrics and you get these units, then what you're gonna do is, don't forget to iron open. You can iron open, sorry, distracted here. You can iron open your seams if you want, or you can press to the dark side. It doesn't matter, I think, with this one. Then these two right sides together, and then you sew a quarter inch seam along here, and you should then make four of these four patch units. Your next unit is going to be the rail unit, and you're going to take fabric D and A, so printed fabric and a background fabric, and you're gonna put these right sides together, just like this, and you're gonna sew along that line here, this seam here, quarter inch seam, and you should make four of the rail units that look like this. And that's it. That's the whole block, all you gotta do. So when you have all of your units sewn together, We'll come back and we'll start assembling the block. So now you have your four patches and your rail units and you are going to take your last printed fabric C, the two and a half inch square, and this is going to be the center of your block. So let's put this in the center and then you're going to have two rail units on each side of the center like this. And make sure that your background fabric is pointing inwards and then you're gonna do the same thing for the top and the bottom just like that and then with your four patch units you're gonna make sure that your printed fabric is on the outside and the inside corner pointing in towards your center fabric just like this and now you are going to sew each row, your top, middle, and bottom row. You're gonna just place these right sides together, just like this, take this off. So quarter inch seam, and once that's done, iron it open, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the last piece of the row, right sides together, quarter inch seam, and then you should have your top, middle, and bottom row. Now that you have your top, middle, and bottom row sewn together, you will then put your top row to the middle row, right sides together, and then sew a quarter inch seam along here. Best way to do it if you want your seams 
to intersect and line up would be to pin it. This will be done. I will iron it open. I have sewn the top row to the middle row and now I'm just going to take the bottom row and put it right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam, iron it open. When I come back we will have the finished block and we will discuss next week's block and what you'll need to sew along with me. And here we go, the finished block. This is block 23 of the Socialites Quilt Along created by Fat Quarter Shot and it's called the Steadfast Block designed by Sherry McConnell. This was such a fun, wonderful, beginner friendly block that you can do. I really enjoyed this. Lots of fun. So in next week's video we are doing block 24 the abundant block designed by Robin Pickens and it looks like a tulip oh my goodness it says that it's an intermediate so I've never done this type of quilt block before so it should be interesting if you would like to join me you can click on the link below in the description. I have the Fat Quarter Shop website below that you can download the PDF for all the blocks that we are doing. Or maybe you just want to do one block. There's 36 blocks you can choose from. We're just going on to block 24. And since I'm doing six inch block, I am going to need in the background fabric to three inch by three and a half inch rectangles, three one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles, and two one and a half inch squares. For my printed fabric, I am going to need one two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangle, two three inch squares, one one and a half by three and a half inch rectangle, and six one and a half inch squares. Please join me next week as we do the Socialites Quilt Along by Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful quilt day. Bye!